Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a problem involving integration by parts. This is a pretty cool integration technique. It's one of my favorites, so uh, check it out. Here's how it goes. Anytime that you're trying to integrate a function that involves some polynomial and a transcendental, and when I say transcendental, I mean like an e to the x, or a log x, or a sine x, cosine x, something like this, then what you're going to want to do is set it up as an integration by parts problem. And here's how it works. What you are ultimately shooting for is an integral of the form u times dv, where what you want to do is let u equal some part of this original integral, and then dv be the part that's left over. When you want to set up your dv part, you have to keep in mind that since dv involves a derivative of some sort, meaning it has the d attached, it's going to also have to involve the dx when you substitute it. So here's what I mean by that. For instance, let's go ahead and let our u equal 2x. With that being said, our dv is going to be the leftover part, e to the negative x dx. And the way I got that e to the negative x is I just brought it up to the numerator, and the power becomes negated. I'm sure you've seen that before. Nothing too tricky here. So now what we want to do is take our u and differentiate it once. So du dx equals 2, meaning that du equals 2 dx. And dv, well, you just integrate that. Since dv is e to the negative x dx, the integral of that turns out to be negative e to the negative x. And this is pretty easily verified. This is just basic u substitution also probably something you guys are familiar with. So now we're all set up, we're ready to go. We just want to plug these in and go from there. So what you do is you take this integral u dv and as it turns out this is equivalent to u times v minus the integral of v times du. We already know what u, v, and du and dv all are so we can just plug them in and integrate from here. So u times v is going to be 2x times negative e to the negative x minus the integral v, which again, negative e to the negative x du, which is 2 dx. So let's combine some terms, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll integrate it. So this is going to reduce to negative 2x e to the negative x plus 2 times the integral e to the negative x dx. As you can see, I've just factored out the 2 and the negative 1 outside our integration, which is perfectly fine to do. It's cleaned it up a little bit, and it's going to be a little easier to integrate. So this integral we have now, e to the negative x, is again just a basic u substitution. And I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with this. This is a little more of a primitive of a technique. But I'm going to go ahead and work it out anyway. So we have negative 2x e to the negative x and for this integral right here what I'm gonna do is just let u or call it w we'll call it w since we've already used u once it's all arbitrary anyway no big deal we'll let w equal negative x likewise the derivative of this with respect to x is just going to be negative dx so what this will give us is negative 2x e to the negative x and what we're going to want to do now is multiply the inside and the outside by a negative 1 because remember our dw is negative dx. We have a positive dx inside of our integral but we want a negative before we can integrate it. So we can multiply the inside by a negative 1 but we have to account for that on the outside by also multiplying the outside by a negative 1 otherwise we change the value of the integral and it's not going to work out. So after doing this what you have is negative 2x e to the negative x minus 2 times the integral of e to the negative x times negative dx. Now this works out pretty nicely because we have our w and our dw inside of our new integral and we can just plug them in directly. So this will give us negative 2x e to the negative x minus 2 times the integral e to the w dw. And you guys are familiar with how to integrate e to the x. The integral of e to the x is just e to the x because the derivative of e to the x is likewise e to the x. 
So you can just evaluate this directly. This will give you negative 2x e to the negative x minus 2 times e to the w plus our arbitrary constant of integration c. The final step in this process is just to take our w and resubstitute the value that we assigned it to begin with. In this case, negative x. So this means our final answer will be negative 2x e to the negative x minus 2 times the integral e to the negative x plus c. Final answer. The only further thing to do from here is you could, you know, you can always differentiate this when you're done. Since integration and differentiation are kind of inverse operations, similar to the same way multiplication and division are, you can always just take your antiderivative and differentiate it. And if this generates the original function you tried to integrate, then you know you've done it right. But again, nothing too tricky here. Pretty straightforward. Uh, hope this video helps. Um, we'll hope to see you soon.